you've seen their silver lacquered logo glued on to just about every type of electronic device from a Walkman to a television. But never before has mega conglomerate Sony Corporation tried to go interactive through the game market. But the tables will turn on September 9th when Sony unleashes its virtual playpen, the PlayStation. Battling Sega's Saturn for market share this Christmas, PlayStation will have the advantage of a $299 price tag, $100 less than Saturn. On the downside, it will not include a pack-in game. Ridge Racer, the pack-in game in the Japanese version of this hardware, will still be released stateside on the same date as the PlayStation, along with the exclusive next-generation version of Mortal Kombat 3. MK3, one of the hottest 2D fighting games, will remain exclusive to the PlayStation until the second quarter of 1996, although it will still appear on Super Nintendo and Genesis later this year. Then again, Mortal Kombat looks like child's play when compared to other fighting games coming to the PlayStation, such as Tekken and... Battle Arena Toshiden, published by Sony Computer Entertainment, which shows the evolution of fighting games into a 3D perspective. We reviewed the Japanese version back in episode 11 of IE, and wow, were we ever impressed. Choose from fighters such as the striking Sonya, the youthful samurai Ejai, or the wizened warrior foe and get ready to rumble. A fully fluid 3D camera moves around the action, showing the best angle of the fight and providing amazing close-up views of kung fu rolls and flying jump kicks. Now part of the Sony empire, British-based Psygnosis has some truly stunning PlayStation titles up their sleeves. Wipeout, a next-generation racing game, is similar to an IndyCar race 2,000 years in the future with weapons. The feeling of flight is simply sensational along the 10 distinctly different tracks with quick curves and jumps only the best hovercraft pilot can complete. With eight different vehicles and an array of nine weapons, Wipeout is a white-knuckle, whiz-past-the-neighbors type of game so futuristic it steams with quality gameplay and whiplash fast action. In the same vein, Destruction Derby, also from Psygnosis, is the only game where reckless driving pays big dividends. Based on the ram-your-bumper action of stock car racing, the game features exploding debris, sparks, and smoke which result in a backdraft of wheel-burning firepower. The goal, smash into your enemy as many times as possible. The result, an extremely engrossing game where scrap metal is the entree. It's hip to be square, but it's even hipper to be a cool red circle named Spot. 7-Up's mascot, Little Spot himself, will be starring in a new adventure, Spot Goes to Hollywood, available on the PlayStation in October, and later on the Saturn. In this adventure, Spot is transported onto the sets of famous films such as Aliens, Star Wars, and Pirates of the Caribbean to battle evil through 40 huge levels. The animation and graphics look stupendous, so make sure to check this spot on your Christmas list. Don't get caught up in the crossfire. Delphine Software, the developers of Flashback, have announced the imminent release of Crossfire, a captivating sequel to Flashback for the PlayStation in early 1996. Initially due for release on the PC CD-ROM, Crossfire is a 3D blast fest of traps, tricks, and first-person combat in a futuristic world. Whereas Delphine's last game, Flashback, was a 2D side-scroller, Crossfire is a true 3D action adventure with interactive 3D objects. Sony ImageSoft is conjuring up some impressive images for Warhawk, their new 360-degree flight simulator designed by former NASA employees. Players can hover, do loops, barrel rolls, and even fly backwards. With six air-to-air -air and air-to-ground action missions, a large degree of strategy involved, Warhawk should break the barrier between action games and flight simulators. Sony also has ESPN Extreme Sports, which is basically road rash on rollerblades or a skateboard, and Twisted Metal, a real funky one-on-one -on -one fighting game, except this time with cars. Enemies include a cab, police car, and even an ice cream truck. This title can be scooped up starting in the fall. Crystal Dynamics is now expanding beyond their initial scope of 3DO titles, and by far their most impressive effort to date is Solar Eclipse, the sequel to Total Eclipse. The action is extremely fast, with obstacles ranging from asteroid fields to caverns and canyons. With full motion video cutscenes starring Claudia Christian of Babylon 5, there are over 20 vicious levels of non-stop blasting to combat. The PlayStation really shines here, showing that games on this system run almost twice as fast as 3DO. Suffice to say, Sony's initial drive into the video game market looks like it will be a gigantic success. They have very impressive hardware, 
coupled with some tremendous games and third-party support. The PlayStation should certainly be able to survive in the $5.2 billion video game market, and it just shows you what one of the largest corporations in the world can do with interactive media. Now if they'd just teach me how to program my VCR clock.